Hey what's up YouTubers, it's Dansky here and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how you can create an adjustable speech bubble. So sometimes when you draw a speech bubble you may see they have square edges, rounded edges, some may be circular, so we're going to look at how you can create one speech bubble and then quickly adjust it to a different shape or size. So we're going to start by selecting our rectangle tool and we're going to left click and just drag to create a four sided shape. Now if you have a CC version of Adobe Illustrator, you can select this shape and just inside of the bounding box you will see these little circles with a curve next to your cursor. If you click and drag you can really quickly adjust to the radius of your curves. So let's do that for now. So we've effectively created the speech bubble part. Now we just need to create a three sided shape which is going to act as the, the kind of the link between the person speaking and the bubble itself. So we're going to select, we can do this two ways actually, we can select our rectangle tool, we can left click and hold shift to draw a square, and then selecting the direct selection tool, we can just drag over one of these anchor points and then hit delete or backspace. So there we go, we have our three sided shape and we can position that and we've created a speech bubble. Now the other way to create the shape is to left click and hold, select the polygon tool and just create a shape quite simply with three sides. So it really depends what shape and what style you're going for. So there's many different ways you can do this and you can align them centrally or you can have it just kind of on the corner like this or on the other side. So once you've created this you can then select the rectangular part and then you can adjust these corners back to square. You can round them off a little bit or you can round them all the way and then drag in from the right hand side and bring this back to being a circle. So you, and then you can rotate this triangle a bit as well and you can really create a whole different variety of speech bubbles here. Now. I'm going to show you another way of doing it as well. If you haven't got a version of CC, you know, using an older version of Illustrator, that's absolutely fine. You can still do this. Just create your four sided shape using the rectangle tool. Go up to Effect, down to Stylize, and then select Round Corners. Tick the preview box, and then all you need to do is just adjust the radius. As you can see, this may take some time, so I'm just going to type in a really high number, like let's say 500. And then I can adjust this 400, let's try 300, and you can see that the radius of the corners adjusts. And it can even go to the extreme as well. This is more like an oval now than a rectangle with rounded corners. But doing this, I can now select this, go to the appearance palette on the right, and there we go, I've got my round corners listed. And then I can adjust the radius if I need to make any changes. And again, do the same thing. Select the rectangle tool, draw the square, direct selection tool, delete the corner, and I've got my triangle. And then I can rotate this and position it. Once you're happy with everything, all you need to do is select all the objects on your artboard, go to Object, Expand Appearance. And if I press Command Y on the Mac, Control Y on the PC to go into preview mode. Okay, so we've got a few broken shapes here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the direct selection tool. First, we're going to join up our triangle. So we're going to left click here. And holding Shift, we're going to left click on this other anchor point. And then we're going to go up to Object, Path, and down to Join. Select that. And you'll see that now this makes a complete shape. Now this is a complete shape, what we can do is we can select both of our shapes, so that's the rounded rectangle and the triangle, go up to the Pathfinder palette and select the top left one, which is Unite. And you'll see now that it makes this into one complete finalized shape. Now this version of the shape that we've just created, because we have gone to Object and Expand, we have now finalized the shape, so this version isn't adjustable. It's just very good to do this because once you finish using your shape, 
if the corners are still adjustable and you then start increasing or decreasing the size of the speech bubble overall, it will still remember the value that you set in the appearance palette for your radius. Whereas now, as we've kind of finalized the shape, if we do make this bigger or smaller, you'll see that the radius here stays proportional to the shape itself. Okay, and there we go, we've created an adjustable speech bubble in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, leave any questions or comments below, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, take care and I'll see you next time.